Hey, podcast niggers. It's Tuesday night here. This is pre-recorded a week in advance in the Josh Cast Studios, which is my parents' basement in Northeast Mayfair, Philadelphia. And this uh, podcast is brought, brought to you by our only sponsor, analbleaching.org. May your butthole shine bright like a diamond. Well, folks, something happened today that really fucking pissed me off. It's Yes, it's comedy-related, which is why I'm talking about it. A certain person who's been on the show uh, for the last... This person's done four episodes, was texting me today. And this person always sends me text messages. And the only reason why I'm not dropping this person's name is because I don't want to get this person fired from their high-profile job. Because as we know, the Josh Cast podcast, this shit show you're listening to, I get so many listeners, guys. Did you guys know that I get more listeners than Joe Rogan? That's right. All Joe Rogan's episodes combined doesn't top one episode of this show. Did you guys know that? Yeah, while well, this person texts me today and claims that their boss was acting differently around them, so that must mean that they heard my shit podcast with that person featured in it, and that person asked me to take down all the episodes off YouTube. Now, you don't realize this, but about... I quit my job two weeks ago... But at the time, I had to get up 5.30 in the morning. This person asked me. This is what pisses me off. The person fucking asked me. Hey, I want to do your show. I said, are you sure? They said, yeah. And I even said, well, everyone's paranoid. No, no, I'll do it. We talked for an hour and a half. I had to get up early after the open mic. I have to get up early. An hour and a half after the fucking open mic. I fucking upload this shit. Take a picture with the person. Put it up. Then you wanted to do another episode about two or three weeks later, another fucking hour and a half in this person's car, then all of a sudden, the person seems happy with it, and then out of the blue, oh yeah, you know, can you, I talked about them on another podcast, we did, hey, can you take out my my clip, okay, don't put the episode up, I might lose my job, how the fuck can you lose your job, we don't have a name, this is why I fucking hate comedians that smoke weed, you're so fucking paranoid, we don't have a fucking name, we're losers, there's certain comedians out there that think because they go into a room with a microphone in front of eight people who also do comedy that they're suddenly a show business. We don't have a fucking name. So this person really fucking pissed me off. And then on top of it, here's something else that pisses me off. When I was putting the episode up, I asked this person, I said, hey, do you want me to, you know, put, put a different name? You want me to use your real name? He said, yeah, you can use my real name. I said, no, let me put a different name. No, 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 use my real name. So this person wanted me to use their real name, and now they think that their boss heard the podcast we did, and now the boss is acting differently. First of all, if my podcast even slightly people gave a shit about, yeah, right. Second of all, it's like, dude, that episode was up for two months now. A month and a half, two months. You would have been lost your job if that was the case. I'm so sick of these. So tomorrow night there was supposed to be a Josh Cast live. I'm going to punish myself. I don't want to do Josh Cast anymore with other people. So this is why this is a loaded podcast. And nobody's going to out there is going to listen to this and go, Aw, man. Oh, that's a shame. I was going to do your show. Who gives a fuck? Because number one, this fucking show sucks. I've been doing it for nine years before podcasts were popular. It's never going to go anywhere. And number two, I hate I hate work with other comedians. Because all the comedians that I know just want to smoke weed and go nowhere. So fuck them. So even though this was just one person, I'm fucking pissed off, and I'm just going to text uh, somebody tomorrow and just say, look, don't bring your equipment tonight. I don't want to do any more Josh Cast. If you guys want to do a show, you guys want to do a podcast with his channel or somebody else's channel, do it. I don't want to fucking do it. I'm so fucking sick of wasting my time. I wasted three fucking hours talking to this fucking loser. This guy's been texting me for weeks, listening to his shitty problems, being a fucking friend to him, and this fucking guy's got no fucking respect for me. I told him, don't forget the nerve to say, I'm going to call you. I said, dude, look. I took the episodes off iTunes, I took them off uh, YouTube, don't talk to me. So the episodes 342, 346, and 354 are gone. They're erased from history because a certain person is so popular in their own mind that they think they're fucking uh, Joe Rogan, that they're going to lose their high-profile job. First of all, you shouldn't be doing comedy, okay? Don't fucking do stand-up comedy and don't do fucking podcasting if you think you're, you're such a good job. Just like when Darren and I used to do Back to the Huber, we've had comedians go, can you not put that up? They would waste their time. Why did you do it then? Just say, look, I don't want to do it. I have a good job. Why are you doing stand-up in the first place if you have such a good job? Why are you doing podcasts? Why are you doing anything? Just stay home and jerk off. So I'm fucking pissed. I'll get over it. But as far as this person goes, I'm done with them. The person should say, I'm sorry. I said, nope, that's it. Leave me alone. He wanted to, to want to call me. Don't call me. Leave me alone. I'll take the episodes down out of respect, and I don't want to fucking talk to you anymore. You wasted three hours of my time, plus hours of me uploading the video, uploading it on YouTube, processing the video. That shit takes a lot of time. It didn't cost me any money, but it cost me a lot of fucking time. 
So fuck you. And I wasted five minutes talking about this person, but I'm done with them. And I don't want to work with anybody or anything else. Everything I'm going to do for now on is going to be by myself. Because you know what? I'm not going to fucking make it anyways. So, now uh, today, I ordered the Verizon Jetpack from uh, Amazon. Uh, it cost $200. I'm stupid. I don't even have a job right now because I want my live streams to stop losing connection. I uh, The funny thing is they try to scam me for extra shipping, but it shipped. I, I paid for the slow shipping, and it shipped regularly, which is a scam, so they gotta do that. But I sh it should come later this week. So by next week, I'll find out if it works. I'm gonna try to do start doing some prank videos in person. I loaded up my phone yesterday with some wacky sound effects. Man, I'm yapping a lot, but there's not much topical news anyways. So after this, uh... Fucking rant, I guess you could say. You're gonna hear a new prank phone call, Cinco de Mayo, more uh, wine and spirits prank phone calls. I gotta get. I don't know why I put enough Cinco de Mayo pranks in freaking January, but yeah, here we go. So let's get to the uh, topical news, which is pretty much 60% of this show. I mean, geez, I was so pissed off today. I was ranting, raving. It's like, oh god. Oh, my job. I might lose my job. Oh, yeah, sure. Your boss heard the podcast, all right. Sure. I wish your boss heard the podcast. Matter of fact, I should record your set and send it to your boss, you shithead. All right. Trump makes case for wall. Call it a crisis for the soul. I love Trump. I'm so glad he's president. I hate whitey, cryy liberals. I'm so grateful. I love my racist, sexist president. Second suspect charge of Texas girl's death. Once again, a little black girl was shot. That was mean. It was based on racism. Uh, Acuzio Cortez is a spec woman. Uh, doubles down on accusation that Trump is a racist. Yeah, I'm a racist too. So what? WNBA's Mercury Fire assistant coach after he's charged with assault. It's a white guy. Why do they have male coaches? Shouldn't they have female coaches? I don't understand. It said that uh, we have determined that night was unacceptable. Uh, what did he do? Disorderly conduct, misdemeanor assault. So he slammed the bitch against the fucking thing. That's pretty cool. Gordon Ramsay slammed over a resurfaced interview just on Jay Leto's show. But that was a long time ago. I think Jay Leto still did shows. What oh, 2010. Sophie Vigaria. That's the chick with the. Uh, it says. Uh, yeah, I don't know what he said. But it looks like he's got his hand near her pussy. Cool. Yeah, she's pretty hot. Let's 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 not uh. Uh, Greta, Greta Pouch has a daughter looks just like her on Instagram. How old is she though? That's the issue there. I don't want to look at her. She's underage because that's uh. The FBI because this podcast is so popular, guys. The FBI might be listening, right? This is up there with Joe Rogan and Mark Maron and and, and and Adam Carolla and all the other podcasts. Yeah. This pop this podcast is so popular, folks. You might lose your job just from listening. Oh my god, three episodes down the drain. That's the title of the podcast. Three episodes down the drain. Johnson and Johnson failed to disclose asbitos and baby powder. So yeah, if Johnson and Johnson baby powder gives you cancer, I used to put that on my balls, guys. I think I got cancer in my balls. A lawyer who threatened to call ICE on Spanish speakers is sued for his rant. So what did he say? Hey, you fucking spicks. You yeah, listen, spicks are scary. Especially at packs, you know, like niggers. Um... No one's listening to this, guys. I can't get fired from my job because I don't have one. <laughs> it says Timothy laughs off Lily Rose. Deep question. Okay. 25 people run through train gate at once. So people are trying to make their uh, trade. Where's this at? This is uh, in Barcelona. It's a crazy video. Fraud challenge. Oh, wow. Yeah, we got to put that wall up, guys. Come on, Trump. Amazon mailed NYC residents ads about HQT. HQ2, sorry. Trump uh, increasingly being blamed for the government shutdown. Yeah, well, they blame Trump for everything. You gotta blame the white man, y'all. Uh, Sean Cory Booker reportedly closed it up to an alias act. Okay, so. Clint Eastwood has been silent for 60 years. Now he's talking. Who cares? I don't want to hear about him now. It looks like local co uh, comedian Roger Weaver, who does a great impression. I love Roger Weaver. Roger Weaver, I know you're listening to this because this is such a popular podcast. <laughs> Shout out to Roger Weaver, who's listening to this. <laughs> you might lose your job, too, from listening to this. All right, guys. It's a good thing I yap because there's nothing going on in the topical news as of right now. So once again, this is the first 
but yet worst comedy podcast in Philadelphia, and this podcast is so popular, you might lose your job if you even listen to it. So if you like your job, stop listening. Matter of fact, don't listen to the show ever again. And uh, this is your favorite podcast that you don't listen to. Okay, so enjoy the new prank phone call. We got public freakouts, sober commentary with drunk people. Who knows? Tomorrow, maybe I'll have some coverage for the show. Probably not. I'm going to punish myself and not do Josh Cast Live anymore. Fuck it. Just do the Loader Show. But anyways, anything else that happens, you will hear it. So you got to keep listening. This is very spontaneous. I record every couple days. You never know what's going to happen. Keep listening to find out what happens next. San Lucas, buenas tardes. Yeah, hi. I think somebody put some uh, crev on my taco. I'm so tired right now. Put some what? Some Jose Crevo tequila on my tacos, man. I feel wasted. Uh, did you order? Yeah, I was in there like an hour ago. I had the table of four with the kids, and uh, my kids are all drunk right now. No, I don't. I don't think. So. So, are you the, the star that went on a taxi? Yeah, I, I saw your staff back there all party and drinking tequila shots. I think they knocked the shots at my taco. No, nobody put tequila on the tacos. Yeah, I saw them partying back there. You guys party too early. It's only three, three, four o'clock, man. No, I'm sorry. I don't. Is that we don't we don't put tequila in our food. But I think you knocked it in there by accident. I don't think so, because nobody drinks in the kitchen. Yeah, I saw them drinking. They all were partying, yelling, ooh, yeah, throwing their hats in the air. No, nobody's drinking back there. Oh, God, I'm so tired. I'm sweating, too. I got diarrhea and I'm drunk. What the hell's going on back there? I don't know. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, jeez, the Quavo, no, no, not the Quavo. Taco Bell Pizza, Stephanie speaking. Yeah, I think you guys were uh doing some shots back there, and someone knocked the Quavo in my taco. I'm joking right now. Wait, say that again, sir. I think I saw your staff back there doing shots. And someone knocked it in my taco. I am drunk right now. <laughs> you funny. I saw it with my own eyes. Alright guys, it is fucking Thursday night here. And yesterday I went to the Planet Fitness. Yes, I went to the gym. Did some live streaming there. Nobody was watching me. And then last night, of course, I went to the Northeast Cabaret. There was a fucking audience there, guys. Can you believe it? It was about 20, 25 people. It's rare. It was weird. It was like a bizarre world. Usually Cabaret has nobody... And there was, like, more comics than usual, and I left before the fucking uh, last three went up, because one of the comics did, like, fucking 15 minutes. I was like, geez. And then today, my jetpack came. That's right, folks. My Verizon jetpack came. I ordered it on Tuesday. They got it to pay for the extra ship, and that's a scam. And uh, I activated it. I uh, I had to pay for... I wasn't going to do uh, live streaming for a while, but I ordered the jetpack. I switched back to prepaid, so I paid 70 uh, I got charged $7 because I, I was on postpaid. Well, who cares about that? So I went to a Verizon store. I walked around the city today, first of all, and I tried to do uh, just use my video on the on the camera. And I was I brought my Bluetooth speaker, and I was gonna the goal was to walk around Reddit Terminal Market, which I did, and play sound effects. But I played the wacky cartoon effect that I have, but it wasn't that funny. I did some video there. I looked I look crazy. I had this big goofy coat. It was so cold today with my, my spy glasses and all these gadgets and shit. And then I went to Verizon. I got my jetpack activated for 40 uh, I didn't get charged an activation fee. It was $40. I'm probably going to do a review of the jetpack tomorrow. And also a video about live streaming in general. I just got done doing a prank calls for you a few hours ago. Came out pretty good. I got some good reactions called... Uh, Indian people, bed chodes and modern chodes, which is sister fucker and motherfucker. They got pissed off at that. And that's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, I'm going to do some public freak out commentary after this clip. And yeah, we'll go from there. So uh, yeah, let's see what's going on in the topical news and odd news. Everyone's talking about the old R. Kelly. Yeah, R. Kelly's on fire, man. Just the documentary and victims and people. Not, no one's sticking by this guy. He's going to sue. And man, this guy is. Uh, 
Thousands of federal workers filed for unemployment. Man, can you believe that? Uh, I was going to apply for a federal government job, but they would have hired me anyways. Fiance asked woman to help kill birth. Ooh. Heroic bus driver rescues a toddler who is running around the street. So, she's a hero, folks. Not all heroes wear capes. Verna Bloom, she was an animal house. She played the MILF. She passed away at 80 years old, guys. Am I making this up? I'm not making this up. So, rest in peace. Uh, white girl, uh, JB Close. She has been missing since October. Found alive. So, that's rare. It's like a 2% chance they find you alive. So, man. Fucking, uh, what do you know? Miracles do happen. Comedian Artie Lang... Oh, I saw his picture. I thought he died. I love Artie. Comedian, uh, comedians beg Artie Lang to seek help. Yeah, that's an old story. I mean, Richard Lewis has been crying about that for, for 10 years. R. Kelly's daughter even calls him a monster. When well, your old daughter calls you that? Man, this guy put food on your back. Uh, what is this? Uh, Hudson responds to Weight Watchers rumors. Oh, Kate Hudson. She's got those big, fat, meaty, white tits. She says, uh, it's not about staying healthy, not about weight loss. So I don't know what they said, but I watched this really awful comedy movie she was in. I forgot the name of it. It's not funny. Man, oh, man. The, the, the whole movie was about her tits. Fucking cold outside. It's in the 20s, guys. It says, what happened when two teens were asked to make a call? On a rotary phone. I mean, I can make a call on a rotary phone, but they're, they're millennials, though. They're younger than me, so... But this kid I used to be friends with, he his aunt, who was a cunt, she wouldn't even give me a glass of water. True story. She used to have her own rotary phone. Let's see. Christina L. Mousy changed her last name. I don't even know who that is. She's some whore. Uh, Chris Pratt goes on a religious 21-day f- uh, fast. I should do that. Because I'm fat. I don't lose weight. Oh, Valentine's Day coming up. Why are they... Dude, that's not even for another month and a half. Jesus Christ, they can't wait to make their money, these fucks. People wait all year. Ugh. Trump could take money from army cops. Uh-oh. Uh, uh, come on, Trump. NBA player eats seven burgers and gets ill for practice. He plays for the Knicks. Face looks fake. Face looks like he fucking is like a plastic surgery. Like a Tales of the Crip episode, but... It says, uh, what else we got? High school coach resides. What did he jerk off on a girl? Come on, guys. Keep it in your pants, guys. Go big towel, bros. If I can do it, you can do it. Seriously. Stop it. Uh, Obama. Just, okay. Fuck Obama. Seriously, I got fired for that fucking asshole that I had in healthcare years ago. I hate him. All right, guys. So that's it. You're going to hear some public freakout commentary. So stay tuned. It's coming up right about now. <laughs> Alright guys, public freakout commentary, entitled assholes are recording and being recorded all around the world, and this is the best show that covers it with the best coverage. I have three clips for you and two bonus clips, that's right, so five all together if you can do math. Let's get to episode 455 on the Public Freakout Videos channel, which by the way, has over 300,000 subscribers. I remember I was subscribed to this channel when it was not even 100,000, so cool, good for you guys. And of course, my podcast made it popular, right? <laughs> All right, so we'll go to the one fifty-eight minute mark, and this is a Indian guy, sounds like it, at a Burger King, yelling at other uh, another Indian guy that they didn't make his order right, or they're charging him for something. Let's get to this. I come here every day. I know. When is extra? I come here every day, and I get the same order. No, no, you, you are. No, no. I ask for. Uh, I ask for yeah. tomatoes, lettuce. I wonder if this is like in a country. I've never seen a Burger King with all Indians. I've seen 7-Eleven. I've seen Subway with all Indians. Gas stations. I've never seen a Burger King. Where is this? Bangladesh or some shit? And it gets the same order every day. Don't you get sick and tired of order the same crap? Eat something else, dude. It's not ketchup. That's yeah, it. And I get it every yeah, time. It's the first okay. Yeah, Without no minutes. extra charge, but if I get some extra no, charge, no problem. I don't mind. But the, the, your guy said no, you cannot have. No, can but need extra fifty p charge. Yeah, I don't care about the fifty p charge, yeah. but he said you cannot have. This is why I don't like. Yeah, yeah. If you want, I can give extra fifty p. Okay, I come here every day and I get my order and done. I no, no, but 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 he said you cannot have. He said you cannot have. So I could be wrong. I think it's about ketchup. Is this all about ketchup? 
They only give you one ketchup? What the hell is this about? No, I can't film. Yeah, well, I can film anywhere. Well, he's already filmed for the last minute or so. And so far, it's up to 28,000 views. Can we escort him off the premises? He's filming, please. Yo, please, excuse me. You are filming. Are you filming up? Yeah, I can film because can they, they are, not, they are disinfecting me. Once again, people think they can film in a business. Unless you're me doing a prank video, you cannot film in a business. Yeah, it's okay, me. Okay. Listen, don't touch listen, me. Listen, don't I'm touch not me. touching you. Okay. Okay, so now there's a black guy trying to talk to him now, a civilian. And he's like, don't touch me. Now, you please leave. I'm not leaving because I come here every day. You can call the police. And this guy, I don't think he's security. I think he's just a pretend. Maybe he does work there. I don't know. Oh, yes. I'm just closing the door. Now we close the door. Just give okay. him the head. No, the door. Closing, no, no. I, I, I have, I have four on. Listen, I have four on. I have four on. Listen to me. Look, here's the phone down. Hello? Bro, outside, I don't care about outside. You, so you're threatening me. You're threatening me. Oh, so this guy does work for Burger King. He must be the Whopper police. He's got a big red Trump fucking uh, tie. I mean, it's not. I'm pretty sure he's not for Trump. But he looks like with that goofy red tie. Don't touch my stuff. Why are you touching my stuff? And the guy picked his food up. And even though he touched it in the bag, the guy's like, hey, don't touch my food. I would actually, I actually agree with him right there. Even if this guy's right or wrong... I would have liked it if someone picked my bag up, you know, with their hands. Even if it's in a bag, like, don't, seriously, I paid for that. Don't touch it, you fucking nick. You're gonna lose your job like this, you know? Try it, please. You're gonna lose your try job, it, trust it. me. He touched my order, which well, he have no right. He touched my order and he kicked my dog. No, you don't. He to touch my order. You have no right to film. No, I have, I have a right, so no, this doesn't no, happen. No, so this doesn't happen. You have no right, okay, I don't have no right to, to film, but he doesn't have no right to touch my order. If he needs you to leave. And I, I, I will never come back here. I will always go to KFC. That's, uh, uh, you know. Yeah, that's what you should do in the first place. Why would you eat the same thing every day? Switch it up. At least go to Burger King, then K. You know, go to Burger King one day, go to KFC the other, then switch and rotate. There is McDonald's also. I can go. That's fine. Oh, you got McDonald's too? Why, why are you going to this Burger King every day? Burger King sucks. I think Burger King's going to go out of business soon. I hope it does. There's one up the street from my house. I hope they knock it down and they build a Wendy's or a Chipotle. Fucking sucks, man. It's fine, right? That's fine. You don't lose. You, you got your job, so you don't care about care. You don't care about Burger King losing years of customers. I was here since four years ago, bro. So years of customers, or is that plural or just customer? Okay, Rim. So you don't care about Burger King? Stop your video. He has no Let's right. Yeah, no, I will not stop, stop my video, video, bro. You want to I will not stop. stop your video. Okay, do what are you gonna do? Stop your video. What are you gonna do? Oh, I like the way they were getting angry with each other right there. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? You got the kind of Hulk Hoganish right there. Indian Hulk Hogan's. I like that. All right, episode four fifty six now on the same channel. We're gonna get to the one fifty three minute mark, and this is a uh, black kid in a Domino's. I think he wants a refund, but he only ate one of the uh, slices, and they say he can't get a refund. They kick him out, but eventually they give him the refund, I think. Because, you know, we're very scared of blacks when they get angry. You never know if they have a gun or anything. Let's get to this. Calling 911. I'm threatening you? What did I say? And then you want to say I'm threatening you? Huh? Sir, this Hello? is unacceptable. What's you're going to have to leave now. That's what you're going to say? I'm threatening you? Sir, this is That's unacceptable. That's what you're going to say? I'm threatening Are you threatening me? Are you threatening Carjolio? <laughs> you, though? I'm trying to help you. Yeah. Who then nobody asked hey, you? Are you going to give my money back? Hey. No. Then get back there. Hey. I'm not even talking Sir, to you. This is unacceptable. You need to leave now. You are not welcome here anymore. <laughs> I like the way she's talking to this guy. She's talking to him like like she's his mother. You know, like she's his fucking like a uh, white stepmother or something. He's like, what the fuck? And then this kid starts laughing. And now he mocks his laugh. He goes, ah, yeah, yeah. Sir, you are now. If you were going to eat it, how come you couldn't call while you were going to be able to eat it? I ate one slice no, of this pizza. No, that's not the question I asked Sir, you, though. And I was at work. Like, you need to die in my store before I call the cops. I'm not getting yeah. out of the store until you give me my money. And you're not going to keep talking to me like I'm not no customer. Manager. Ooh, he called her a manager. Damn, he slammed that bitch. How about that? That is unacceptable. How about you that? You need to leave. All right. How about that? All right, watch, watch. Why don't you just call the cops? I don't understand why people threaten to call the cops. They yell. They're just trying to scare people. You, the only way to actually scare somebody is actually pick up the phone and either A, pretend to call the cops, or B, actually call the cops. Just do it. Get the out of my store. I'm not getting out of nowhere until you give me my mother money. How about that? How about that? How about that? You and you too, mother. Sir, that is unacceptable. I'm 
I don't give a. I'll give you your money back, but you never come. Oh, she caved. You stupid bitch. You did all that. You're screaming at the guy. You're yelling at him. And then you, you give him back his money. Why didn't you call the cops and stay your ground? Eh, she probably made the right decision. He probably would have robbed and raped her later. I won't. Okay, let it go. Give me your money back. Let it go. You're talking about somebody. All right, so now the next clip is in the same episode. Um, this is at the uh, 8.58 minute mark. This is very quick. Actually, 8.57. Let's go there. This is a, uh, a mentally ill black guy, not to make fun of him for being mentally ill, and he starts screaming in a, in a place, a fast food place. I don't know which one it is. If someone says World Star. He, this guy's just screaming his name. I mean, I don't know what he's. He's not mad. He's just. He's just ill. Here with you all. And by the way, guys, for my first introduction to you, I am Cedric Hamisi Saeed. Damn, you would think this guy was like on a fucking African safari in front of a bunch of soldiers or something. Listen to this guy. I think this is some sort of pizza place. I don't know, it's Pizza Hut or... Hurry the up, I'm leaving now. And then after he yells, he puts his head down with his headphones like he didn't even do it. This guy's weird. <laughs> hey, of course this is well, sir, you fucking idiot. I am the Prince of the Congo, you Okay, I think this is a Walmart. I think this is a restaurant inside of a Walmart. But someone tried to calm him down, and he just, like, slapped the guy's hand down. Hey. country in the world! Kids, you idiot! Now, I'll say what Nick DiPaolo says. If this is such a racist country, why are people trying to sneak in here? I mean, come on with that racist country shit. Why don't black people just get out there? Go back to Africa. What are you gonna do, you kids? Nothing! Black kids out right there, boy! And now some white guy is trying to get in his face to calm him down. And the, the funny thing is this black guy has his, his earbuds at the whole time with music while he's yelling. You can tell he's ill. And now another white person is coming to break it up. And you now it's just getting nasty, folks. Boy! Save him, boy! Oh, he called the white man a boy. That is not allowed. You know what happens when that happens? You lynch him. white devil is in your eye, boy! Oh, he called them a white devil. Now that now let's get to the two bonus clips. You probably have heard of these two clips. One is a transgender gets mad at GameStop employee for calling him a man. Uh, it's from Media Takeoff. This video has over 451,000 views. It's about two weeks old. My Uber driver brought this to my attention. That's right. Cool Uber driver ad. This is only a minute and a half. So I guess this kid says, uh, thank you, sir. Or, Have a nice day, sir. And of course, we live in this world where nobody, you know, you can't identify people. People, everyone's offended by everything. You know, you're transphobic. You're you're homophobic. You hate people. You should get fired. And this guy, who's really a woman, you say she snaps. So apparently, this man lady was on her period. Let's get to this. No, we're not doing credit. You're gonna give me my fucking money back. Excuse me, sir. There's a young man in here. Excuse me, it's ma'am. It is ma'am. Now he looks. You know who he looks like? He looks like uh. This wrestler, Badass Billy Gunn. If the wrestler, Badass Billy Gunn, never had any athletic ability, he never had any muscles, that's what he looks like, but not as attractive. Please, if you like me too, you need to settle down. You need to settle down and mind your business, okay? Ma'am, once again, ma'am. I said both of you. No, you said sir. Once again, it's ma'am. I actually said both And by the way, the guy behind the counter, he looks like what a GameStop employee would look like. Perfect. You guys, it was a general... Right beforehand, you fucking said sir. Sir? Okay, sir. Motherfucker, take it outside. If you want to call me sir again, I will show you a fucking sir. I apologize. Motherfucker. I apologize. Now, it doesn't make sense. If you want to be identified as a woman, why would you act like a guy and say, hey, step outside. I kick your fucking ass. I'll show you. So if you whip my ass like a man, that means you want to be identified as a man, which means I called you the proper term. What's the problem here? <laughs> and now he kicks the, this display over of fans or uh, no, it's a bunch of uh, game consoles. He kicks it over like a little baby. <laughs> And he's gonna walk out I need the corporate number because I'm gonna talk, call them and talk about how it's misgendered several times in this store. I apologize for that. Now, once again, people keep doing this whole corporate number thing. Can anybody use Google? Or are people just that stupid? I need your corporate number now. Get it for me now. I'm gonna ask you to calm down and stop cussing. Give me your corporate number. Well, I'm gonna ask you for the fifth time to stop calling me a man because quite clearly I am not. 
I will get to that number. Is that okay? Yes, I'm get it for me now. I'm asking you to stop Get cussing. it for me now. I'm, I'm not cussing. I'm not cussing. Okay. Get me and now all of a sudden, he goes, I'm not cussing. I'm not cussing. After you cuss for a whole minute, you are loud. You made threats. Call the cops on this woman or man, whatever the fuck this is. Please. Ooh. And now he's trying to intimidate him by making loud period noises. What the hell is going on here? I will get you that number right now. No, you're just going to keep bumping your gums. You're just going to keep bumping your gums and disrespecting trans people in this store, which I plan on telling the entire LGBTQ community. Okay, so pretty much this is what I tell the entire company that walks out, or she walks out. And uh, this last clip, you might have heard this on Jim and Sam, if you listen to Jim Norton and Sam Roberts. This is a black woman in the back of an Uber. She starts recording the guy. I guess the argument was the guy was making a certain turn or whatever. He was going down a one way. She tried to correct him. He got upset. They started going back and forth. And I guess that's when she pulls out her camera phone. Now, obviously, I mean, listen, this guy, he is a racist. But at the same time, you know, both of them are at fault. The guy, you know, he obviously, you know, the Uber, I used to drive for him for three months. She just fucking wanted to bait this guy. You know what I mean? This guy looks, you can see he is racist, but who cares? It's like people, I used to drive Uber three months. You have people, they want to tell you which way to go. They want to tell you to turn the heat on. They, they think it's their car. So many entitled cunts in the world. She's one of them. Let's get to this. This is a title video by itself. It's uh, it's only got 112 views, but I'm pretty sure there's another one you can find. But let's get to this. This is four minutes and 49 seconds. Let's see if we can get to this whole thing. No account. He said all these names. Points. Did you, you guys hear this? <laughs> this is Jim's him. Rib heaven. This I should have expected. Oh, ho, ho. so right in the beginning, first of all, you can tell this is in the Midwest. I think this is in Ohio something. You can tell by his accent. He's got that, yeah, you know, yeah, you know. And um, he says, oh, I picked her up at a place called Rib Heaven. What should I expect? Now, that's funny. I think it's funny. The stereotype of black people liking ribs to me is much more funnier than fried chicken. And uh, some people, most people in the comment section did take, um, you know, did take her side. But listen, I mean, the guy was, uh, you know, racist, but I, I, I respect him for just saying, hey, fuck it. And Uber probably terminated his thing. Who cares? I mean, the guy could drive for Lyft or something. Lyft probably doesn't even care. These fucking Uber and Lyft, they don't care if you drive till you die as long as you make the money. Jim's rib heaven. He can't <laughs> even read. He's a clown. Look at him. Oh, fuck you. You want you want me to get you a uh, senior fucking picture right to Uber? I don't have a picture, clown. <laughs> yeah, you do now. You do now. So the guy tried to take a picture, and obviously he didn't get the right angle. But see, what he should have did right here, this never happened to me. Because, you know, if she would have said something smart to me, I would have just took it like the bitch I am. But you see, what he should do is just call the cops. As I said before, when you call the cops, instead of sitting there arguing with her and, and everything, he's trying to, you know, intimidate her and try to... Just call the cops. Just take your phone and say, you know what, miss? I'm calling the cops. You're not getting out of my car. And that's it. <laughs> oh, why don't you get out? I'm sick of you. I don't have to take you to your yes, destination. Yes, you do. Or you're going to give me my money back. I or I'm going to call the... Oh, by the way, I'm looking in the car. She's eating in this car. Now, I've had people smoke in my car and everything. You know, I don't know if she asked before. And hey, do you mind if I eat? But fucking, she's eating in the guy's car. That's so disrespectful. You know? Police on you. Get out. Okay, call the Get police. Out. I'm going to call the police call, then. Call the police. I am. Or are you going to give me my money back? Well, I can't give you your well, money Well, then back. take me to my you destination. Take me to my destination. Now, this is a typical loud black female. Every time you walk around the city of Philly, you see a bunch of black guys with white girls. I want you to think of that voice. Do you know anything about Then take Uber? me to my destination. I'll take you to your destination right down in the heart of heaven. Right where you <laughs> so Jim and Orton and Sarah Roberts made something a funny point. He meant to say the heart of hell, but he said heart of heaven. So yeah, he did mess up right there. But yeah. You belong. <laughs> Thanks. I belong in heaven. Thank you. Just like a monkey. Are you even a citizen? I was. So you could tell right here that she knows that she's on video. She knows that this guy's most likely going to lose because this is what black people do. They like getting white people fired. They like getting white people in trouble. She obviously knows at this point this guy's probably going to lose his stupid Uber privileges, which is like, by the way, who cares? I mean, Uber sucks. I drove there for three months. I barely made shit. I lost money driving Uber. And uh, she's just baiting him. 
This is what black people do. They bait you. And if you fall for it, well, this is what happens. I've been born and raised here. Where were you at? Where were you born at? Freeze Point, Mississippi? Come up here. Mm-hmm. The slum. This is the racist motherfucker I've ever yeah, experienced in my life. fucking bitch that I've ever seen, too. Uh, he mad because he can't read a map. Listen to all the shit he's saying. <laughs> this is an Uber driver. Yeah. So he's making monkey noises now, which is just funny and old school he drives uber though but he's talking about me he drives people for a living this is slave shit now this is the, this is the thing this is where she loses people right here it's like okay look you know you and the guy are fighting you're arguing fine i'm not offended by this because i only drove uber for three months but there's people out there who don't you know they're driving uber for part time they're just doing it to make some extra bucks some people are just trying to you know have another side job you know it's nice to have it as a side job and she's making fun of you. Like, hey, if you drive for Uber, you're a loser. Well, first of all, why are you taking Uber? If, if, if driving for Uber is such a loser job, wh- why the fuck are you... You know what I mean? Why the fuck are you uh, taking Uber? So she's clowning this guy like, you're a loser, drive for Uber. I hate people like that. I hate anybody who puts anybody down for trying to make a living, you know? It, you drive people for a living. I don't drive people for a living. <laughs> now, first of all, why is that funny? Let's say this guy was a limo driver. Let's say it was a... There's people who drive trucks for a living. They make fucking probably three times as much as most people. Why is that funny? Why is that even an insult? This is where she... This is where she just... She's just getting worse. I mean, she's just... She's trying to make him look bad, and she is. But the thing is, usually black people, they try not to make themselves look bad. She's making herself look worse than he is. That's how... Because this guy was racist... And she came off worse than he did. That's how you can tell how bad she came off. He's a fucking clown. He's a fucking bitch. clown. See, he's calling me bitches. He called me a nigger. He yeah, called me a monkey. Yes, but now you are he's a nigger. called me all. Okay, so right there, it's kind of funny. He goes, I never called you a nigger, but now you are a nigger. It's like he fell for it. She baited him. Maybe he didn't, but now he fell for it. Now he's like, you know what? He's probably like, fuck this. I don't want to do this anymore. And you look at this guy's car. It's really clean. I mean, I would just be. I would have. I would have just fucking got out of the car. I would have took that fucking rib sandwich, that make rib, whatever she's eating. I would have slammed it in her monkey face and threw out the fucking car. And I probably would have went to jail, but it would have been worth it. Kind of shit. He's a clown. But he's working for me right now. He's getting my money like a bitch. He's a bitch. He's now you can tell right here she's getting angry. So I, I think it's funny that. She was kind of like, you know, laughing like, ah, ha, ha, this is funny. I'm just goofing on this guy. But now when he called her, you know, a nigger, now you can tell she's getting mad now. And now she's getting, now she's going to, you know, try to humiliate him and stuff saying, my, like, first of all, that makes no sense. You you know, he's getting your money. You know what I'm saying? So even if you're saying he's your bitch, okay, yeah, he has to drop you off and pick you up. You're giving him money though. So what if he's your bitch? I mean, you're paying for it. You're losing money to him. So how is that a diss? She's an idiot. My bitch that's getting my fucking money right now. Aren't you dropping me off? Because you're my bitch. Uh, you get out. <laughs> At my destination. <laughs> I destinate you. I'll make sure. <laughs> <laughs> so Jim Norton and Sarah Roberts made a funny joke right there when he said, I'll destinate you. Once again, this guy, you can tell he's not good at comebacks. He's not good at arguing. But, you know, listen, he's, uh, <laughs> he's certainly... Uh, Stand at his ground, if you want to say that. Don't you worry, because I'm sending this straight to Uber. Why don't you get up and swing on that fucking pole for me? See that? Oh, ho, ho, ho. See, I don't think he was being racist right there. I think he was saying, why don't you shake that black ass for me? I think he's getting turned on now. I think he's got a, I think his white cock is rising right now. And he's like, mm, yeah, black mama. Give it to me. Look at that. People are good for. He's, he's a racist piece of shit. This is who drives for Uber, but he's Wait, talking about turn right there, put you where you at the police station where right you're gonna go. County jail, that's where you need to be. For what though? Yeah, for a lot. For what though? What did I do? Shit. You don't even. I would say, well, you're eating in my car. You're being a nigger. That's enough, isn't you don't it? Know me. Start. You don't even know me. Yeah. Oh yeah, he doesn't know you, but you don't know him. You don't know him, but you're putting him down, saying he's a loser, he drives for Uber, he's a racist. You sure know him, right? Good. I don't want to know you. I don't want to know any of your kind. Oh, so I got this guy. He, Like I said, once again, this is how much of a cunt she is, even though he is fucking uh, being racist. You know what I'm saying? Uh, she came off so bad in this, not a single person said anything bad about him. Even though there's only like eight comments here, everyone's like, 
one person said when an old racist bomb hope he gets fired and sued and of course it's it's probably some white liberal douchebag but even the even the black woman said she's disgusted uh you know she's acting entitled i mean this is just ridiculous You don't even know me. I deal. Yeah, he I he told me I deal drugs. Never to sell Uber. Never to you can't you, you can't tell Uber anything. Oh, yes, after I this video, you're, you're getting fired. After this, you're getting fired. You've been get me fired you've been doing racist. You're the most racist driver. I got everything recorded from everything oh, you, you said. Go do that. You people are good for doing that. I now he's right about that. Black people have been getting a lot of white people fired for recording them on video. Even though these white people have been either racist or nosy, I'm getting tired of it. I didn't think black people wanted to work. Why are they trying to take all the white jobs? I mean, come on. Yeah, I don't know who you people good, are. Yeah, yeah, I'm you yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, I've been yeah, monkeys. Yeah, climb yeah, on a yeah, tree. Yeah, 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 he said all yeah, kinds yeah, of stuff. Yeah, yeah. So once again, this guy's not good at arguing. He's not going to win this one. But still, it's like she's making herself look bad, so this is good. He's the funniest thing ever. You remember, everything that you record on me is recorded on you too, bitch. <laughs> He's right about that. See, look at that. Now I'm a bitch. Yeah, you well, he already actually already called you a bitch actually two minutes ago. And you don't think you're being a bitch right now? I mean, you're laughing at the guy. You're saying he's your bitch. You called him a bitch first, actually. Then you said he's a loser because he drives. For, he drives for a living, and now he calls you a bitch. And now she's like, "Wow." It's like, what is he supposed to say? Oh, you're a nice lady. But his mama's a, a nigger, dead bitch. Yeah. You're a nigger. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> he got her there. At least I'm alive. Yeah, so am I. You won't be after her people. See this video, sir. Run for the hills. <laughs> Get on my, get out of my fucking car and no nope. suck, suck on some goddamn rib bones. Drive me off. <laughs> I like this guy, even though he's racist. Up in the back. I ain't that's you off that's my back. That's, that's my drop off. My drop off is in the back. No, it's just got nothing on the back. It's just like in it the never back. Nothing I don't in give alley, a fuck bitch. what it. Now, once again, when you drive for Uber, the passenger tells you where you let them to drop you off, but you don't have to. You know what I mean? It's like, it, it, as long as you drop them off near their destination, you don't have to. So if I was there, I would just say, look, bitch, get the fuck out. I'm not dropping you off nowhere. I'll come back there and I'll shove that fucking sandwich down your fucking black throat, bitch. Say it. It's in the back. Take me to the back. Pull in here. Get out of my... Okay, so you can tell right here she's got him by the balls. Like, this is where he's losing the fight right here. Even though he's standing up to her, he called her an end and everything like that. She's pretty much just yelling now. You can tell he's freaking out. He's like, I want her out of my car so bad. I'll do what she says. It's like, first of all, when he was stopped where he was, that's where you should have called the cops. And you can cancel the ride, I think, on the trip. And if you can't, well, fucking call the cops, dude. Fuck it. Who cares about the ride? Fucking car, you loud mouth, no good. Pull in here. Stop right here. There, get like, out. like my servant you are. Get out. You bitch. You fucking nigga. That's why your mom's a dead bitch. <laughs> okay, so I don't know what happened here. I don't know if they, I don't know if he threw something at her or she kicked his door or whatever. But now the phone's upside down. She's getting out. As you can see, she's making fun of his mom because that's mature. That's what a lady would do. And she's laughing. And he's going to keep yelling back at her. That's when the video stops. And I think there's a different version because uh, the Jim and Sam, there was more at the end. But he's just yelling at her. She says something back. But pretty much, guys, uh, I don't, I'm pretty sure Uber, I think Uber suspended her. And I'm pretty sure that, that, well, first of all, they suspended her. What does that mean? Oh, you can't take Uber for a month. Okay, I'll take Lyft then. Who cares? And he probably got his Uber privileges taken away. But who cares? Driving for Uber sucks. You got to deal with people like that. That's the problem. People like that think they can talk to whoever they want. So fuck that shit. But once again... That's it. Uh, public freakouts, entitled assholes, recorded and being recorded, recorded and being recorded. I should say all over the world. This is the best show that covers it. The best coverage. Next segment. I believe I can fly. I can fly. I can fly. Oh, Kelly's my hero. Hey, everybody. It's Saturday night here, and yeah, I already talked about the jetpack, and you get a chance to use it. I did not go out last night, but I'm going out tonight. That's right. 
and I would have tested out. So we'll see that. I did a, I did a review yesterday on my channel, which got a thumbs down, which I think is funny, just because I didn't do it in depth. It's like fuck you. And uh, I did another video about talking about IRL live streaming. Joel Osteen came over. And he did a little bit of a better show than last week, but he's got to step his game up. He got mad when I said that, but you got to step your game up, buddy. So I slept my balls off. Hey, who cares about that? And uh, yeah, so I'm going to be doing some drinking. I had my concoction chilled of the jacked as we speak. Um, and we'll talk about that later. And uh, yeah, do some sober commentary with drunk people. So uh, the number one story right now is Jeff Bozer is his name. As soon as you type in just J E on uh google he comes out jeff bezos jeff bezos he's the guy from amazon one of the main guys he's getting divorced right now which means that bitch is getting a fat ass paycheck and probably a fat ass dick in her pussy my god and the big town community is going rampant uh sheriff says uh gloss parents killed because they were a barrier oh. and everyone's talking about football but i'm one of those gay guys Ooh, football I already like to watch it because of their ass. Oh, yeah, so Blake Griffin, um, he fucking um, killed the Clippers. They traded him. And that's what you do as a basketball player. When they trade you, you shove it up their ass. It says Steve Buscemi's wife, Joe Andres, has passed away at 65. Damn. That's not a good story. I don't like to read sad stories, guys. I like to read wacky stories here on the show. Because this is a wacky show. Three dead and dozens hurt in a Paris bakery gasoline. Um, would you like some clippings with your no, 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 no. Okay, that's a terrible impression. It's not funny. Gunman accused of killing Davis. No, teen seeking asylum compares to Texas detention center to prison. Damn. Yeah, Texas, they don't play around. I do like Texas for that. They like to shoot guns. And when they put you in a mental institution, boy, you better pop that damn marker away. We're gonna shove a broomstick up your ass. What the fuck? This show sucks. Why does anybody listen to this? I don't know. I'm gonna keep doing it though. I need to. I don't have anybody to talk to, guys. I live in my parents' space, but I don't have a job right now. I quit my job. I'm a loser. All right, everybody, calm down. Yeah, let's see. Uh, Anna Ferris gets real about her sex life. Doesn't she have a podcast? I did a bit about her a while ago. I was like, why did you guys listen to me? Listen to Anna Ferris. She was in Scary Movie. She plays the. She was good at that movie, but it's like, why listen to me? Listen to her. Right? Listen to some fucking white girl who's in Hollywood who's attractive cry about how she can't find a guy because she's a crazy cunt. You know? Oh, this is something I want to see. This is pizza worker seeks coded message from Pizza Hut and calls the cops. Let's get more from this story. Ah, uh, it's one of those stupid... Oh, I gotta get my news so different. It's one of those stupid websites where you gotta keep clicking to read the story. I'm not doing that. Why should I put any work into this... Miley Cyrus, she looks good with long hair. I don't like that short hair dyke version. I don't like that. When everyone has short hair like that, I picture them wearing a t-shirt that says, I hate cock. I don't know why. Well, folks, there's no news really going on other than Jeff Bezos losing half his money. The guy's still worth about $400 billion, but man, oh man, this is the uh, divorce. If you're a rich guy, don't get married. Go big town, bros. But anyways, going to do some drinking tonight. The sober commentary segment is going to be brief because it is freaking cold outside. I stayed in last night. We'll talk about that because it was freaking cold. It's going to be cold tonight. I'm crazy for going out, but you got to go out. You can tell by my voice. I'm kind of sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Who's listening to this? Nobody. Next segment. Get ready for that. All right. See you there. All right. Sober commentary with drunk people. It's only 109 a.m. Don't even know I got this far. Left out like 9 uh, 30 ish, 9.35. I walked out of the train station. I just missed the bus by like a minute. That usually always happens. And I said, fuck it. I might as well, uh, you know, just go walk down. So I was gonna walk down anyways. I got my concoction. I didn't have my flavor of tropical punch. They only had, the, like, they usually get the yellow tropical punch flavor. They only had the, uh, mango. It's like, the, it was like this. Kind of pink looking mango tropical punch version, which I didn't really like, but that's all they had at Wawa today. And, uh, fucking, I did some live stream. I got down here. I was on the train, first of all. I, just, I think I just missed the train as I got down to the train station. And then I saw a bunch of young black hooligans running around, but hey, that's every night, right? And then, fucking, the train took a while to take off. Then there was a little delay at Allegheny. Some guy got arrested on the train. I don't know if he was selling drugs or he was panhandling or whatever. 
cops pulled him off. I got down here around 10.35 ish, which is not bad. I started doing live stream at first. So I had to pee, so I took a piss at uh, Bootleggers. That's a karaoke spot on Friday nights. And then I fucking, uh, I started doing a live streaming. I was on Twitch for like two or three minutes. I decided, might as well go on YouTube. I brought out my, uh, my Wi-Fi to test that out. And I did, and I did lose connection at one point. Like, when I started walking around, like, I fucking lost connection. And I was like, what the fuck's the point of this shit? Like, what's the point of, th what's the point of this Wi-Fi shit? You know what I mean? I thought it's not supposed to lose connection. But I think what happened was it switched to the Xfinity Wi-Fi from the jetpack or something so i guess next time just take the xfinity off for good and it should be no problem but uh i was doing a live stream outside blue nothing really happened on the live stream i had two people watching me two people that i know and then fucking uh i was walking around i went inside stoves to go piss and uh, i did i was losing a little bit of connection there but it did come back and then about it's about a 23 minute stream you see pretty short of streak about like shit it's pretty much a waste of money but whatever and then it started fucking snowing out here so i fucking uh went to the national mechanics around 11 ish or something and uh fucking uh there was i saw the asian bouncer you know what i'm saying uh he shook my hand and said hey don't stand right here come on it was like he said there's 17 groups of girls like yeah right 17 groups of girls yeah that's funny and then this big group of black girls, they left. So it was like really 17 groups. You mean like three or four. I mean, there was some chicks there, but they left. And then fucking, uh, I was in there for a while trying to move away from people. There was a lot of nice looking college girls in there. But of course, I didn't do shit as usual because I'm a pussy. And plus, I'm big town, bros. So I didn't do shit in there. I didn't do nothing. And then fucking as I was walking out, there's this white, there's like two white homeless guys. They're really passive aggressive. They ask you for money, right? And then when you uh, you say no to get mad, so this guy crossed the street and said, like, hey man, can I ask you something? I said, hey man, I, don't, I just let you know, I, don't, I was like, I don't have any spare change. He got mad at me, he's like, you know man, you need to treat me better. He said like, I know, I'm like, hey man, you need to treat me better. But I'm like, I was like, what are you talking about? Like, I'm trying to save you time. Like, you gonna walk over to me and give me some pitch story, you know what I mean? And then ask me for some change. I don't have any change, dude. I'm not giving you any change. You know, I'll just say it in a nice way, it's not me. So I was at Nashville for about uh, 30, 40 minutes. I left 12 something. I was gonna do more live streaming, but I took I had to piss. I went inside Lucha, I had to piss. I was in Lucha for like 30, 45 minutes. Something thing really happened in there. I saw this Indian chicken there. She had uh, she was a spinning actually. She was wearing a red top, she had giant fucking titties. But I didn't do anything. She had giant fucking titties, I didn't do shit. And uh Yeah man. Lots of thick jaws in the area. And pretty much like uh and there was this group of people, they were dancing around, like jumping up, jumping up, jumping up, dancing around and shit. And then all of a sudden, the, there, was a, there wasn't a fight, but there was a little scuffle. I guess some guy pushed somebody they do. So they went to go get security. They're like, security, security. They went to go call security. And it wasn't even like a big deal. It was just like, like a little scuffle. So they got all, uh, they got all kicked out and shit. And then fucking, uh, I left out of there. Around like just just a couple minutes ago. I can't believe I made it to even one and I was gonna go to plow But I think there was a fight inside plow as well. There's like two people that broke it up and shit like that And they pretty much fucking uh They just like walked out and shit like I was walking by plow and I saw this dude He didn't fall too hard, but he tried to maintain his balance and he fell on the uh He fell like just a few steps. And I decided to leave an hour early uh, Good news is tonight is I did not spend any money. This is fucking a uh, big black chick across the street. She she wolfed out like two, three slices of pizza while she was staring at me because she wants to suck my dick. And pretty much she fucking uh, she like she's like I think she puts a pizza inside of her pocket. All right, so I'm gonna head to the train station now. I'm gonna leave an hour early. I'm probably gonna miss the bus to the train station. I hope not. Fuck, I should have went down now, but I'm gonna go now. And, uh, yeah, that's all that really happened tonight. So I only did about 25 minutes of live streaming. As far as the Wi-Fi goes, I mean, I bought it at the worst possible time. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's only fucking, like, to spend $200 plus 40 for the service. And everything. I mean, this isn't a finance podcast, but I looked at my credit card statement earlier. And I just got bugged out. I was like, Jesus Christ. I spent way too much fucking money this month. Like, it's not even the middle of the month yet. 
uh, and I already spent way more than I'm supposed to. So, yeah, next month. I mean, what's again? This isn't a finance podcast. Hey, this is a finance podcast. Oh shit! I think I'm about to miss my trade. If it is, I gotta wrap this up. Some trades coming. Let's see. Let me take my time here. Oh, it's the other side. This side probably already came. And uh, hey, the big black chick that was, she was tall. She was tall, like really big. And when I was doing my podcast, so she kept looking at me, but she's probably just drunk. But uh, I saw this really thick black chick inside Lucha. I don't know if she worked there or not. She was like these tight black yoga pants. She had a fucking perfect ass. And you know, listen, I'm not going to sit here and lie and say I don't get tempted to approach. I do, but I just don't. You know what I mean? Because it's like, even if she dances with me for even two or three minutes, it's just going to be like, okay, that was fun. Thank you. Bye. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, well, what's the point? Like, I know this is all just fun, but it's like, what's the point? You know, it's just all just a waste. But yeah, I was going to go inside Plow, but one of the reasons why I don't like fucking Plow is because they fucking, the barmaids that work there, they're like fucking strippers. You know what I mean? There's like one tall one. She's all legs. And she is sexy, this tall white chick. She, she kind of reminds me of Stacy Keebler was brunette and a little bit thicker. Like, she's good looking, but like, they, they all have to push you out the way. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, what the fuck, man? You know what I mean? It's they just, just, you're going to go in there just to get fucking pushed around. You know, it just, and there's no way to stand. But there was a fight in there, apparently. A little scuffle, but then again, there were scuffles all over the place. As far as national goes, there was a white chick in there. Kyle's kind of looking white girl. She was wearing a belly shirt. She was fucking sexy. And uh, the Asian bouncer, there was two girls that came in there. They were excited to see him. So that's the thing. Is he doesn't realize it's his height. I'm not going to say the guy's not good looking, but girls are attracted to his height. The guy's six foot three. Six foot two, six foot three. Me, even though I'm kind of tall, plus I'm fat now. And even, he claims even when he was tall, he got laid. So it's like, what's the point? So the good news is, I hope I don't have to take an Uber. I hope this trade comes. I'm probably going to miss the bus at the train station. I hope not. I really don't want to take an Uber tonight. I don't want to spend any money. So I stayed in last night. Um, as I said, I wasn't tired or anything. I could have went out. I went outside of my kitchen deck, and it was just so fucking cold. I was like, fuck that. I was like, fuck, that is so fucking cold. That's just too fucking cold. Uh, that's, you know, I was like, fuck that. I'm not doing that. And then fucking, uh, I just stayed in. I played some Grand Theft Auto last night. Listened to some podcasts. I just laid there until I felt sleepy. I ate this pickled sausage thing that blows my ass out the next day. And that was it, man. I was like, fuck. I mean, so for now on, I can't lie and say I'm not going to go out on Friday nights anymore. But as of right now, I might, especially with this cold weather for the next two, three months, because it's like, you know, Friday nights are just a waste of money. It's dead. There's nothing to do. You know what I mean? I I was tempted last night to uh, go to the karaoke spot. You know what I mean? And drop, uh, uh, pay files for a beer and watch people do karaoke, do my commentary, like I did last time. But it was like, I didn't feel like walking down to the train station, and then I was tempted to get an Uber, even though it's only five-something. And I said, fuck that, man. I'm going to spend five something. Um, so, man, that's about it. That's all that really happened. I can't think of anything else. I want to do more live streaming, but I bought this fucking Mind Fight at the worst possible time. But I'm only trying this out for a month. And the good news is I own the unit no matter what. So, if I don't like it, they shouldn't charge me for it because it's, it's just an add on. So, if I wanted to, I could once again. But. Anyways, man, yeah, if I wanted to, I could go to Plow and hang out for another 40 minutes, maybe sit out, if I'm, you know, I'm done, man, there's no point, there's nothing going on, I don't do shit at Plow, I just stand around, there's like the same two, there's, I always see these two Mexican dudes in there, they don't do anything, uh, they just get wasted on Coronas, they seem like pretty two cool guys, I mean, I'm not gonna shit on them and say they're not cool, and then there's this, uh, black, these black dude always goes around street harassing all the white girls, but they like him, though, because he's black, and like I said, every white girl in the city wants Big BC. So that's it, guys. I'm done. This has been Sober Commentary, the fucking snowy, wet balls edition, I should say. And, uh, yeah, more lame uh, fucking coverage to come. And fuck, man, I wish I wish my fucking tra- the stream was coming. I missed it already, apparently. Uh, fucking... It would be great, because I really don't want to catch the fucking... Uh, 
catch a Uber Eats so it's only a couple bucks like so I spent way too fucking much this morning. it's not even the middle of the month of my credit card man anyways that's it for now if I can remember anything else that happened uh, nothing really else happened uh, we'll cover it until then that's that let's go see ya next segment wrap this up Okay, so I just remembered something that <laughs> this happened. I literally just got done recording 10 seconds ago. When I was on the train, this douchebag got on, this uh, white liberal douchebag. And there was two black guys, like, sitting next to me. And there was, like, one black, big black drunk guy in the front, or homeless-looking guy in the front. And he starts talking about the Eagles. And he's like, yeah, we're going to do it. You think the Eagles are going to beat the Saints? Yeah, the Eagles are going to beat the Saints. And he just gives this black guy a fist bump and everything. And I had my headphones on. I'm just like listening to this shit. Like, God, it's such a fucking sports city. You know what I'm saying? And he's like, yeah, the Eagles are going to beat the Spades. Yeah. And he starts giving everybody, he starts giving him a fist bump. And I think he, he almost spit on me a little bit. Like, he was just standing, like, too close to me. I was sitting, like, in a quarter seat. And then I started, you know, fucking uh, the game was on and shit. You know, the Rams versus somebody and everything. It's such a fucking sports city. I hope they fucking lose. <laughs> I don't know say how loud you might get killed. All right, that's all I can remember for now. That's it, yeah. All right, it's Sunday night here. It's time to wrap the episode up. And uh, last night, I got to the train station. I was going to take an Uber because I just missed the bus, but I said, fuck it. I'm going to wait. I waited for a half an hour. My fucking legs were shot for the next bus to come. Today, I slept all day. Had a little bit of a hangover. Plus, I'm sick with the flu. I took a flu shot, but I guess the flu shot only lasted you so long. I'm fucking sick. I got the flu with the flu shot. So maybe should I take another flu shot? I don't know. But I did a, a, a live stream on Twitch. I had two people watching me, one of my subscribers, Aaron, and then I guess he, he showed what his friend my stream, a nap stream I was doing, and I got, I got another subscriber on Twitch, and this guy uh, mod something, so yeah, cool, man, and uh, all that jazz, and uh, cool, yeah, so let's wrap this up, I, you sound, I keep saying cool, I have nothing to say, I just do the topical news and uh, fucking uh, Thomas first female on field NFL playoff official, fuck you cunt. So sick of these cuts. Yeah, so the Eagles just lost. You don't hear my dad upstairs cheering. Woo! Yeah! Nobody is. The streets are completely quiet. That means the Eagles lost. That's right. And the... What is it? The uh, fucking uh, Patriots won. And it says here the Rams won. So, yeah. there There's your sports coverage there for the most uh, guy who doesn't watch sports. It says, uh, How Thieves stole $700 from my wife's credit card. Ooh. It says, LeBron prepared to take off multiple weeks. Hey, what are you doing, you fuck? I thought you were going to come to the Lakers to make this team great again. And you get back in there, you fucking play, asshole. One dead and 12, 12 hospitalized in mass overdose. And, uh, California. Overdose on what? It says, uh, This is from Fox News. I hate fucking Windows 10. Uh, one, uh, please say the victims have ingested fentanyl, a power. Oh, this is opioid. I don't know what that word is. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not smart. I never claimed to have a high IQ. I have a very average, if not below average, IQ. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, yeah, man. I wonder how much that chick from Amazon's gonna get. She's gonna get fucking uh, Jeff Bezos, his ex-wife. Man, oh man, is she walking out like a bandit? And she's going to be having a new cock in her suit. He's already dating some other hot chick. He's doing a typical guy thing. Just, all right, who can I call? Yeah, you want to go out sometime? And what about, uh, she took half my money, but I got about uh, a couple billion left. You. Okay, I'll see you later. It says, uh, snowstorm barrels across the country, leaving seven dead. And, uh, I don't know where this is, but man, we didn't get hit too hard, I guess you could say. Fucking Taylor Swift is going down on Selena Gomez. That's good news, allegedly. Let's see, uh, five dead in crashes in a winter storm. I just read that. It says, Kathy Griffin and Christy Swanson spar over border wall. She looks like fucking Carrot Top. She needs to shut her fucking loud mouth. That's why only gays listen to her. She's fucking annoying. Go cut off Trump's head in another picture, you cud. It says, uh, NFL confirmed Super Bowl halftime show lineup. Adam Levine, I see him in there. Because, you know, listen, uh... It says, uh, you know, listen, he's, he's not a, mas a masculine guy, but a lot of chicks want his penis, so that is masculine. Uh, why would Daenerys' wife looks like a, uh, she's not ugly. I'm not saying she's terrible. I mean, I don't, I don't get pussy. I can't make fun of her, but she looks like a fucking, uh, like an attorney. Like, type of black chick to cut your dick off. 
what is he get? He's getting divorced, I think. He, he'll get some new black pussy. You know, it's, it's no big deal. The man loves his, he loves that cocoa butter, dry, lashy pussy. I've never had it before, but he, that's what I've heard. Okay, guys, let's get to the weird news. Uh, odd news, strange news, if we can. I don't know where to get this from. I like how the streets are completely quiet right now. If they were the one, you would hear anybody go, Oh, yeah, he goes, yeah, he ain't she. Where you at? Where you at, motherfuckers? I don't hear you. Oh, you lost? Oh, it's okay. Maybe next year. Listen, last... They weren't even supposed to be there. Okay. It says, What's up, Doc? Moose wanders in Alaska hospital building. It's always about animals. Uh, PepsiCo test drive itself robot delivery. I didn't just go to the store and get Pepsi. Woman wakes up to find her drunk neighbor snuggle next to her dog. That's That happens every night. That's not weird news. New Jersey Transit gives aggressive panhandler one-way bus ticket... Uh, Capital City has been relocated in the help of New Jersey Transit. I don't know what that means. I read it stuff. Krispy Kreme delivers donuts to officers over pastry loss. Whole bunch of donuts. I haven't had Krispy Kreme in years. I don't think we had a business. Then they say they're actually putting real crack inside their uh, inside their fucking uh, donuts. Real coke. That's why it was so good. It says California start GoFundMe to bring animals wildfire. Uh, Walmart bans woman who rode cart while drinking wine from a Pringles can. Now that's what I want to hear. New York City students are reportedly losing their beanies at school, costing around three hundred and fifty dollars for these uh, stupid well, beanies. Okay, woman unable to hear men's voices due to rare condition. Oh, that's awesome! Imagine every feminist had that. Imagine the world, the world would be a better place. McDonald's reopens after man walks in with a dead raccoon and places it on a table. That's pretty fucking cool. He just went in the back. All right, guys. So this podcast is going to be called Three Episodes Down the Drain because you know why. Thank you for listening. This from the bottom of my rotten heart. The next episode will feature a old, which means classic prank call, called Foot Job. And this guy gave me a number uh, from a friend of his. Uh, to some chick he tried to date. I called her up. She got creeped out. She hung up. God, I did that so long ago, man. Like 16, 17, 18 years ago. But it's still there. That's my childhood, folks. And then we'll go from there. So see you guys on the next one. Keep checking the channel. More stuff coming soon. Blah, blah, blah. You just listen to... And we're out of here. Congratulations. You just sat through the most awful podcast you can sit through. Josh Cast.